Hello, it's Lou again. Um, I'm going to do a little quick warm-up sketch this morning. I was kind of in the mood after drawing Venom last night to do another one. Um, I don't know, I find this very uh, therapeutic and it's, it's relaxing, it's fun to do, and it gives me a chance to be a little bit creative since I don't have much time with the current world situation, with the pandemic and work and personal stuff and family and all that. So anytime like a... I'm trying to make more time for myself, so any, any like, you know, if I can squeeze an hour out, half hour, just do a little bit something creative, um, you know, I'll take it. It's good for the soul, plus, you know, it keeps the creative juices flowing, and it's just nice to, like, document, you know, my, my creative endeavors and kind of see how I progress and stuff. So for today, I think I'm going to draw uh, this guy. This is Darth Vader. Um, this... I found this toy and it was displayed in uh, my toy room and I don't know it's it's really neat it's a it's a this is more of a kitty toy I think I believe this is a play school toy this is probably about uh, 2004 so it's my math is horrible so I'm guessing this is this guy is 17 years old so he's old enough to drive but he's not fully seen as an adult in the eyes of the state yet so I'm gonna draw Darth Vader I like Darth Vader he's pretty neat. Um, so let's take a look at him first. Uh, this, of course, this is a very cartoony, exaggerated version of Darth Vader. Uh, he has the larger eyes. His proportions are just ridic ridiculous. He has these giant hands. Here's his uh, lightsaber. So I'm just going to focus, I think, on... I'm just going to frame probably just the upper half of him, like a up-close, tight portrait of him. Uh, I like... His armor's cool because it's, I think it's metallic or something, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little bit shinier, and I don't know. Like I said, this is just a, a fun sketching exercise just to get the day started. You know, it kind of clears my head and before I tackle on the important issues of today. So, let's draw this guy. Put him off to the side. Um, Alright, let's start with... I mean, I'm drawing a portrait, so I guess I'm starting with his head. <laughs> I don't have much of a choice. I always liked Darth Vader as a kid. I think I like—I have, I have more of an appreciation for his character now as an adult. I think when I was a kid, you know, he's the bad guy, so... You know, you're not supposed to like the bad guy. When I was younger, I think I gravitated more towards like Luke Skywalker and Han Solo. Uh, I, I want to see, I think, for the most part growing up like I saw Star Wars I was too young for the first movie I saw the Empire in the theater and I think I was probably like seven or six or something so I probably didn't fully understand the full idea of what was going on I think I was more about this the laser battles and the big Adat walkers and the snow speeders and stuff and I didn't really have an appreciation for Darth Vader's character until much later um, as a kid, I, I, I want to say I thought he was a robot. I mean, he, I mean, technically he's a, he's half man, half machine, but when I was a kid, I thought, I thought he was like full on, you know, full on robot, like C-3PO or something. And I don't know. Okay. So here's pretty much his, he's going to draw him. Now this is going to, I don't know. I just want to, it's, it's not going to be accurate by any means. I'm just in the mood just like, just do some gesture drawing or something. You know, this, right now, my proportions, he's looking a bit more sleek and slender, elegant, maybe. Which I don't have a problem with. Uh, I like Darth Vader's armor. I think it's almost like techno samurai in some ways. Like the helmet. I think the way, especially how it, like, flares out towards the bottom, like right here. Um, I don't know, this kind of reminds me of, like, a samurai's helm. And then there's the grated mouth here. Big eyes. So, all right, so there's this thing here, goes down. Like I said, this isn't going to, this isn't going to be perfect. I just wanted to be done, one and done, just get out of the way really fast. Because I have important things going on today. Today's a, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I like, I really enjoy playing that game, um, Pokemon Go, and there's a, an event going on today, so. That's going to be in a couple of hours. So I thought until then I'd just kill time doing this. 
All right, now I'm already having problems. I don't know how to draw his helmet. <laughs> okay, so this is this is gonna be this is gonna be my interpretation of Darth Vader. So if he looks really off, it, which it probably will, he's probably gonna look very weird. So yeah, it's it's already looking weird. I'm sorry, Darth Vader. I really should have planned this beforehand. <laughs> I'm going in this raw. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just. I thought it'd be fun just to like sketch him out. Uh, the geometry of his helmet's really throwing me off. Well, if, I, if this looks weird, I'll just make a cart. This is a. We'll say this is a cartoony version of Darth Vader, if it doesn't come out right. I think he has these things here. His nose is gonna be here. One thing I learned about Darth Vader uh, a few years ago, because I mean, I actually have a Halloween costume of Darth Vader, is that his helmet is next. It's not actually all painted symmetrically. It's actually asymmetrical. So if you look at it closely, I think. The left half of his face doesn't match the right half of his face. I think they used subtle shades of silver or gray on on, on alternating parts of his face so that it captured better on the camera, I believe, so they had more depth. So that's a fun trivia bit. Yeah, my Darth Vader's looking weird. Okay. I don't have an eraser. <laughs> I should have brought an eraser. Oh wait, I take it back. I have an eraser. Uh. Alright, there's that. And then I think this is like his rebreather, or whatever it's called. Alright, so this is going to be my interpretation of Darth Vader. So, I'll tell you now, he's not going to look accurate at all. He's just going to be semi-accurate. Or maybe not. And there's going to be some people here like, oh, you didn't put enough grates in his mouth. Um, I don't know. As long as you get the point across that it's supposed to be Darth Vader. I want him, I should make this bigger. And then this helmet. Uh, This isn't looking right. Let's fix this a little. And then he has a chain. He has a pimp chain. Vader's pimp chain. And this pimp chain's gonna go here. Vader has some really cool chest armor. I'm digging it a lot. Okay, so my Vader isn't accurate at all. Is this the constraints of time have prevented me from drawing a more accurate version of the Sith? Is he a Sith Lord? Yeah, Lord Vader. Okay. Okay. Darth Vader. Uh, center one. Black. Okay, I think I'm not sure if I. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know if I like this. But it's I don't know. At this point, I'm I'm gonna say the initial sketch is done, and uh, let's get into actually coloring them out. So I'm just gonna do a lot of guesswork here. It's like this isn't going to be a very refined drawing by any means. Um, 
So like I said, I just want to get them done. So, all right, for Vader, we'll start inking them out with a Sharpie. I'm gonna be a little bit more controlled in my line work as opposed to yesterday with my Venom drawing where I was kind of like all over the place. Uh, these lines are gonna be a little bit more deliberate. Okay, those are the folds of his cape. Darth Vader. Darth Vader is such a cool character. I like him a lot. And uh, let's work on it. All right, so uh, in terms of working on his face, I can probably work on these little protruding parts in his rebreather at the front of his chin. Um, just so I can... Uh, I'm using these as landmarks just so I don't accidentally overdraw anything I'm supposed to, like, draw. So... that his mouth's gonna go across like here and then I might actually lower his chin down just a little I think I drew it too high or his jawline and uh, let's work on fleshing this part out the top of his brow All right, there's that lower part of his helm that kind of curves out and surrounds his lower face. Uh, now, this is where I kind of messed up, because if you look here, this goes out a lot farther. I might not be able to correct that here, so I'll just have to live with it. And, no, no, maybe I can fake it a little, you know, it goes out like that. And let's work on bringing out his... Now this is this part of his head you're not gonna see, so it'll be all dark because it's casted in shadow. It's the inside of the helm. I don't remember where Vader's chain goes. All right. Okay, this is kind of messed up right now. I can't remember if his chain goes around his whole neck or if it clasps at the edges of the cape. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna say it goes around his neck. I don't know. It's gonna it's gonna look wrong, but I don't care. I just wanna get it done. This is also just an exercise in this drawing fast. I like to work fast. I don't like working very slow. Um, it's like I said, I have to be somewhere in a couple of hours. So right now it's. 8.40 in the morning, and I got to take off around 10, so. Okay, there we go. There's this thing. I'm going to draw the bottom of his neck. His neck and his helmet, I think, are actually one piece, it looks like, on this, at least on a toy. So now that I know that's completely inaccurate, but... I don't care. So I have that done. Um, his cape. This is where I messed myself up because I don't know where this cape starts and begins. So I'm just gonna, I don't know, fake it. And then I'm just gonna fake it and someone will call me out on it later, but I don't care. So we'll just say his cape goes like this. And it goes in and like that. 
and then the armor pieces of his of his chest armor, upper chest armor is divided into segments. I know there's a center one. Okay, let's work on his face, his nose. I might come in a little bit later with a finer mark with a a finer marker, but for now I'm just gonna work with this. All right. My Vader looks kind of weird. It looks like he's bucktooth or something. Okay. Now, right now, I'm just doing the contours of his face, all the lines. And I'll come back later with the details. Oh man, I messed up. Where'd I go? Okay, this goes here, right? And this goes here. And then this goes here. It's like I said, the, ge the, the geometry of his helmet, it's really throwing me for a curve, so I'm just kind of guessing how this kind of thing kind of comes together. All right, so there's that part. Let's get his helmet drawn in a little. And then there's the part above his brow. Goes like that. Okay, there's Darth Vader. Awesome, all right. Okay, so we have Darth Vader. I'm 18 minutes into the video. All right, let's just say that for uh, we'll, we'll establish our light source is coming off here. So this is where his, the light is. So I'll build up all my shadows and everything around based on that. So let's start. Let's give it a glare here. down here All right, so all these all these lines I did drew just now. These are where I'm planning on um, blacking these out. These are going to be the heavier areas of black, uh, the shadows caused by the light here. 
and let's start doing that right now actually this will start creating some volume on the drawing Darth Vader. Vader is such a cool character. I'm currently reading the Marvel Comics um, Darth Vader series, and it's pretty inter interesting. Um, he's he's a very conflicted character. He's not as black and white. You know, he's there's a lot of shades of gray to his character. Every now and then, he might display bouts, small little bouts of mercy. Um, you know, he's but then other times he can be just like full on ruthless and aggressive. I've always been drawn towards characters that are a little bit more um, complex like that. I don't like characters that are very one-dimensional. Um, you know, anytime there's a, especially villain characters, I like villain characters that are trying to reform. I'm not, Vader's not trying to reform by any means in this series, but in terms of stories, I'm always drawn to uh, good character development. And I think you don't get as much of it in the movies as I'd like, just because movies are, you know, they're only told over so many chapters, and each chapter is only, you know, so long. But the comic books are cool because it, it gives you a, a much larger um, canvas to, you know, paint what a character is like. You know, you can examine his origins more, um, the motivations for their actions. All right, he's coming along a little bit cleaner. Yeah, so this is a completely different drawing exercise than the one I did yesterday with Venom. Venom was very, for me, it was a little bit more visceral, a little bit more kinetic. This one, it's, it's a little bit like that, but it's a little bit more deliberate. Um, all my lines are a little bit more thoughtfully planned out. I want the drawing to look a little bit cleaner. And if I could finish this within, uh, f I don't know, 15 minutes, I'll be so stoked. Because it's like I said, uh, this is also for me just an exercise on this, this being fast. I like being fast in the things I do. I don't like things lingering. Like if I could kill this off really soon, I'll be so happy. Okay, Vader. Whoops, I accidentally knocked my microphone over. Alright, this part of his helmet's kind of throwing me for a curve. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to render this out. So I'm just going to guess. Because it's... Part of it is... There's so many angles and curves to this, and I'm trying to figure out in three dimensions how this would be um, lit in real life. So I, mm, that's good enough for me. It's like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, just needs to be done. So 
It's gonna be a shadow. Cast it over here. Okay, it's, it's kind of looking like what it's supposed to look like. Now, in terms of his neck and head, this is going to be kind of tricky for me. Uh, let's get, I'll come back here later with some finer details. There's some sort of thing under his chin. I don't think you're going to see it directly, but... All right, Vader, are you coming along? Uh, I'm going to come back in some of these areas with a finer marker and add some finer details to it. So like I said, I want this to look a little bit more cleaner, a little bit more refined than my previous drawing I did yesterday. And I'm just doing the chain around his neck, the little chain link thing. Um, okay, when I was younger, because I, I always thought Vader's costume was all black. I think it was mostly because of the action figure. But his costume actually has, I want to say maybe it's like a gun metal or like a dark silver on his armor. So... Over here, it kind of alternates these stripes. You kind of have um, like a silver gunmetal color, then black. And it doesn't always, for some reason, it doesn't always come across, I think. But, you know, growing up, I was watching the VHS tapes, which were super blurry. And, you know, you're not going to see all that kind of detail. So let's alternate. So the outer edges are going to be silver, black. And then, did I mess up again? One, right, silver, black, silver. Yeah, I think I messed up. No, who cares? Yeah, I, I goofed up a little, but I'll just live with that and uh, just make the most of it.
So I'm just gonna figure out the folds in his cape. Okay, Vader, you're coming along. I'm really excited about on Disney Plus, they're going to have that Obi-Wan TV series. And from what I've heard, they're talking about a possible rematch between uh, Darth Vader and Obi-Wan. Or, I don't know, whatever. But for me, I'm a big fan of Hayden Christensen's Darth Vader, Anakin Skywalker character. So for me, any chance to see that again? I think it's really neat. And if they get James Earl Jones to, which they will, to voice Vader, you know, that, that'll that be perfect. So Darth Vader, Sith Lord. Now this drawing is nowhere near as perfect or as refined or as precise as I'd like, but I've, I've kind of learned just to kind of let that go. Um, I think people sometimes get too caught up in trying to get things, you know, super perfect. But I think when you have the little mistakes and idiosyncrasies in a drawing and, and stuff like that, it just, you know, it adds character to it. It makes it your your own a little bit. It's like anytime you look at something that's completely like perfect or maybe even computer generated, there's just something always off about it. And I know nowadays t technology is a lot more advanced where they can add those kind of faults digitally and you know so it looks more analog or hand created than being like a you know a digital construct. But in my opinion, nothing really could replace the human touch. But, you know, I think learning how to draw digitally is something I've been tinkering with just because, I, for one, I love technology. And I just think it, it, it just looks cool. I mean, I'm sounding kind of hypocritical right now, but if I had to choose between working analog or digitally, I'll, I'd probably choose working analog and just do everything by hand. But it's just pretty cool, though, when you work digitally. I, part of me just wants to do it because it's what all the cool kids are doing. I don't want to feel left out. Darth Vader, Sith Lord. Um, I was thinking about going further down and drawing a little bit more of his chest, but I don't, I don't have the time right now for that. And I just want to f get this kind of wrapped up soon. Now as I'm racing, you can hear everything rattling. It sounds probably like an earthquake or something. That's just all the toys I have on my <laughs> drawing table. I have like Legos and action figures and everything, so. Okay, I want to give myself at least five or ten minutes on this drawing because I need to take off soon. I'm running late as it is. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm going to come back in here now and just, just add some texture to the cape. I hate this. I'm so like clumsy. Every time I erase, I just end up like making all these creases and foldings in my drawing. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just trying to add some sheen to this helmet. I'm already kind of... And uh, do I chance working on the eyes? Uh, yeah, let's work on the eyes a little. And I think I want to say I'm done, but I don't know yet. I don't know. All right, we'll, we'll wrap it up. I don't want to. I'm kind of worried if I keep on going more into this, I might start adding stuff I'm going to regret later. So this is Darth Vader. Let's take a nice, nice look at him. All right, so he's kind of based off of this dude here. This old kitty, uh, I believe is a play school, Darth Vader. And then I kind of just drew this. Well, I hope you liked it. Um, I'm stoked on Vader. And I hope you have an excellent day. And thanks for hanging out and watching this. All right. Take care.